Have you ever built a simple website and wondered how to make it live on the internet for everyone to see? In this video, I will walk you step by step through deploying a static web page to the web using GitHub and Versal. By the end of this tutorial, you will not only have your site live with a free custom link, but also you will understand the complete process from pushing your code to GitHub to connecting it with Versal and finally sharing your website with the world. So let's get started and take your project from your computer to online in just a few minutes. First, let's visit versal.com which will take us to the Versal homepage. Here, to begin, I will click on the login button. Versal provides multiple login options. I will continue with my Google account and while this authentication happens in the background, we will move to GitHub to set up our repository. So here now we are on the GitHub dashboard. I will click the new button to create a repository. After this, we need to fill in the details like repository name and an optional description. Here under the configuration section, we can set the repository's visibility to public or private and choose the options like adding a readme file, a license or a .git ignore. So now the details are ready, I will click on the create repository button. After this, the GitHub shows the git commands which are needed to connect our project to this repository. Okay, so now we will move to the IDE where I already have my static website code in an index.html file. As you can see, this is a basic HTML code. I will open the terminal and I will initialize the git in my project folder using git init. After this, I check the status with git status command. This command will show me which files are untracked. Now to add my HTML file, I run the command git add index.html. I need to check the status again and now you can see that the file appears as staged. Now next I need to save the changes in the git's history by committing them. So we will write the command git commit minus m and a message in double quotes. At this stage, most of the programmers, especially beginners, often make the mistake of running git push directly. This will give us an error because no remote repository is linked yet. So I will go back to my github repo. I will copy this remote URL command and paste it back in my terminal. You can see the command is git remote add origin and then the repo URL. Now when I try to push, I may still see an error because the local branch is not linked to the remote branch. So to fix this, I will push it to the master branch explicitly. So here I copy this command and paste it in the terminal and now the project is successfully connected. Now if I go back to my repository and I refresh the page, I will see that index.html file is already uploaded. Now we will go back to the Versal dashboard and I will click on add new project. Here I need to import my github repository. If the repo is not visible, I may need to configure the github app permissions. So after I verify my email id, Versal shows me the project settings. In this step, I can choose the framework if I had used one, set the environment variables if needed and then finally click on the deploy button here. 
and that's it as you can see my site is now live on the virtual dashboard i can see the deployment url clicking on this will open my website hosted and live for the world to access Great, our website is now live on Versal. Let's explore what we get after the deployment. Now this is where Versal gives us observability metrics. Versal also provides analytics. With the analytics enabled, we can track important metrics like page views, bandwidth usage, and the regions where the visitors are coming from. This gives us traffic visibility and helps us understand how the site is performing in real world scenarios. This kind of observability is super helpful to monitor the health of our website. Now let's see how continuous integration and continuous deployment or CI/CD works with Versal. Since Versal is connected to our GitHub repository, any changes we make in the code and push to the GitHub will automatically trigger a new deployment. For example, if I try to update the heading text in the HTML file and once I save it, I will use git commands to commit the changes. So you can see here my terminal. So after I make changes, I am going to write git status. Then I add my HTML file. Then we write the commit command and finally we push the code. Once this is done, Versal instantly detects this change on the connected branch, in our case the master branch, and starts building a new deployment. And just like that, within a few seconds, the updated site is deployed. Let's refresh the live page. And there we go. The updated heading is live. No manual deployment steps needed. This is the power of CI/CD with Versal and GitHub. So to recap, Versal not only makes deployment of static websites simple, but also gives you observability metrics, analytics for traffic visibility and continuous deployment that keeps your site in sync with your GitHub repo. Every code change flows smoothly from the IDE to production. So in this walkthrough, we saw how to deploy a website, monitor it with Versal's analytics and use CI/CD to automatically update the live site. This makes Versal a powerful platform for hosting modern web projects. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you liked it. Please subscribe to my channel for more tech updates.